Sup. What up, everybody? It's your boy Goro back. I'm back at it again. Uh, hope everyone's doing good out there, staying safe, all that good stuff. Today, I'm not gonna rap for y'all though. I love music, specifically hip hop, rap. Also, love all types of other genres. So, I'm a frequent collector of music. I buy CDs, I buy vinyls, I buy cassettes, all that kind of good stuff. Today, I want to show you guys, like you know, my special collection I have so far up to date. Let's go. Let's start with. Let's start with vinyl. What? Tidy? Okay. Let's show you the record collection I got right here. Let's start off with this. I got the Weekend Specials the Collector's Edition of Heartless and Blinding Lights, side A and B. Very limited edition art cover. All right, what else do I got? I got the Tiger vinyl right here. The Taste, the picture disc of Taste right here, and Swish, A and B sides of this. You know, Taste was a really good, it was a really good comeback for Tiger. You know. You know what I'm saying? From here on out, he's been, you know, making bangers and all that, legendary album, all types of stuff. So yeah, this is really dope. Oh, then I got the legendary, rest in peace, Sean Price, you know what I'm saying? Refrigerator P, that original mix with Small Professor, that is. Because if you listen to his album, uh, Imperious Rex, that has a whole different uh, beat to the Refrigerator P. So this one right here was a really great job they did. And uh, yeah, even got a peas theme bonus. And I got the instrumental refrigerator repeat. Might spit on that someday, you know? So rest in peace, the legend. It's a really dope vinyl. Okay, check out some singles I got. I got the Too Short Blow the Whistle, you know what I'm saying, vinyl. Cause you know, I'm a barrier guy. So I gotta represent Too Short. He's just very really rare find that the instrumental, clean, explicit, all that. Here is the Sadat Sada X. I don't wanna mess it up. Sadat X vinyl single. Um, I don't know Sadat X like that, but this is a dope cover, and I gotta respect the man from Brand Newbie, you know, and he got some bars. And ooh, found this in a record uh, shop for only only 10 bucks. It's a Mortal Technique single, Point of No Return, signed by the GOAT himself, you know what I'm saying? What else? Also got his homie, Poison Pen. Of course, another single, dope uh, art cover. Uh, yeah, really dope stuff right here. Ooh. Let's talk about my favorite rapper. One of my favorite rappers of all time is Mr. X to the Z Exhibit. And this is his, one of my favorite songs from him is What You See Is What You Get. Got the instrumental, got the uh, track on it. Got the three card Marley track on the side of being instrumental. Uh, I love Exhibit. First rapper I, was, I think I really honestly listened to first. And you know, it's been my top five of all time ever since. So, you know what I'm saying? And the music video to this, this song right here, the music video to this, you can't even touch it till this day. Till this day, bro. Ooh, okay. All right, we're getting to the big dogs. Those are all a bunch of singles I showed you right now. And now we're getting to the big dogs. First off, I want to show you J -J -J Jazzy B. Folk and Funky 2 album. That's right, I got that on vinyl. London Portola Reloaded. It got Nog 3. It got, uh, let's see, it got Mundial La Tabda. It got a bunch of songs from it. Ooh, it got King Forever featuring, you know, the legendary Kuldeep Monik G and all that. Uh, what's the song I like? Udum Sing Sadat. That song is really dope because it got a boom bap beat to it. And you know, uh, and it got a Punjabi mix to it. So he's spitting on it. Jazzy B with this, you know what I'm saying? This is a good comeback. That was a great sequel to the album. You know what I'm saying? He did it right. And everybody, everybody always asks me, hey Gaurav, let me have this. Let me have this. Y'all cannot have my Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan vinyl, okay? The very legendary Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. Got the Sufi collection. Very, some good old days. I like to just sit back, relax, you know what I'm saying? Don't want no stress in the world. I put this on time to time, you know? There's four tracks on it. I can't even say that right. Nitha Kadamunga, Chup the Lock, Kick and Nasa Man, I'm fucking up. I sound like a fucking ABCD right now. You can't have my Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan vinyl, all right? Don't keep fucking asking me for this. It's mine. Legend, legend. Ooh, now we got the GOAT, Drizzy Drake. Oh, yo, you know what I'm saying? No matter where you are, no matter where you are in the world, how you feeling, what's, what's the day, what's the Saturday, Sunday, doesn't matter. Whether you got a work day, whether you got to stay home, doesn't matter. You take care of yourself, right? And this vinyl will take care of you. Drake's second LP, take care of you, you know what I'm saying? He really did it. This is classic. This won a Grammy. But fuck it, even if it did it, it would still be a fucking classic by any means. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now, Drake really did this. From track 01, Over My Dead Body, to 
uh, the last one, the ride. Oh my god, he killed it. Y'all need to keep quit saying that. Oh, the weekend helped made this fucking album because Drake did his thing with the headlines as a single. You know what I'm saying? Lord knows with Rick Ross. Uh, look what you done. He dedicated that to his mom. Oh my god, Underground Kings. You know what I'm saying? This shit, this shit is out there. You can catch your feelings anytime. You wanna catch catch these hands and catch some feelings. This album will do it for you. Alright? Dope shit, dope shit. Ooh! One of my first records I ever collected, uh, this dope spot in Fremont, I think, is right here. Is the DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince of Bel Air Rock the House. Their first album ever. They got the singles like Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble. Yeah, this is a great, you know, vinyl collection. I'm gonna see Will Smith someday. I'm gonna see Jazzy Jeff someday. Tell him to sign this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, love Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? People, he's underrated. I mean, he sold millions of records, but I think as a rapper, like they sleep on him. They think he's too soft, too clean. But y'all missing. Sometimes you can tell a whole story. Like, uh, what's that song? Yo, uh, who stole my car? Yo, that's a good song, man. He could he could tell the stories out here. I got this right here. Curtis Blow, the breaks. You know what I'm saying? If you're a hip hop fan, if you're you know hip hop uh, connoisseur, then you have to get this record. It's the breaks by Curtis Blow, one of the first original songs in hip hop. 12 inch single right here, and um, that documentary that came out uh, 2013, uh, the Art of Rap with Ice T and stuff. He was going around interviewing rappers. Uh, Lord Jamar was on there talking about uh, this was like one of the first vinyls he bought from the store. And it had the instrumental, and it had the do-it-yourself version. And I was like, yo, that is so interesting. Oh, shoot. It's dope that they said do-it-yourself. So they wanted people to mess around with rapping. The idea, can you imagine the idea of rapping was never like, it, was, it never occurred to people. Like, hey, rap. Like, what, what is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? This is historical. This is a historical vinyl itself. So I tried to rap on it. Yo, 80s beats are really just something else, you know? You gotta, like, you gotta get down with it. You gotta get funky with it. What else we got? I got the very exclusive radio advanced version of Ludacris's album, Red Light District. Only problem with this, it's a clean version, you know. So, you know, this song I like, I love. Virgo's Fire, get back, get back, you don't know me like that. Number one spot, you know what I'm saying? Put your money where your mouth is. Better hundred, better thousand. With DMX and all that stuff. So, yo, this is a great album, you know, Ludacris was killing it. This album. I would say some people hate this album. I understand, but this album cover is fire. First of all, because Don the team did a great job with it. Has the sun god raw on it, as well as there's some songs on here. I'm not like too fond of the album too much, but there's some songs that's still killing it, like uh, "Hard for You," "God Talk," uh, "Spitfire," uh, "Hollywood." This vinyl right here. Oh shit! Oh, did he? Did he? That? Oh, where was I? By the way, this album right here, I think I bought it. It's on the sale. Plus, it's gold, baby. Woo! That's nice. I love to have this colorful vinyl sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Black is cool, but sometimes it's fun to put some color in your life. And uh, I like that. I like that a lot. So that's a good vinyl itself. Ooh, then we got The Weeknd. The Weeknd's Kissland album. I love this album. This is the first album by Weeknd, I think, after the trilogy. You know what I'm saying? That was mixtapes and stuff. This is the first official album. And then he just kept making classics of the classics. Look at that. Look at the way it opens. Comes from the bottom. And then all this artwork right here. All this Japanese writing and all that. And so this is really dope. If you look at the, I don't even know how this opens up. Oh, there you go. Okay. So it opens up like this. Plus, and then more, more detail to work right here. This black and white, you know, paper to work to it. And then you get this translucent, nice little turquoise greenish. Vinyl right here, that's really beautiful. So thank you, Weekend, for making this masterpiece. Beautiful stuff. Oh, we got Jay Rock on his third LP, uh, Redemption. Now this album was nice. Look at that, that's beautiful. And again, once again, the vinyl. I think I got this from Urban Alpha and it's exclusive, but it's red. Oh, that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's, he's, he's blood gang out here. For him, not, not me. <laughs> Wow, freestyle, that music video. Whoever fucking directed that video, that, that part where Kendrick and J-Rock are rapping, and then he slows down and he's fat and normal, but then he slows down and he's normal. Fire, fire as fuck. Win, win was a fucking banger. You know what I'm saying? 
I love this album, the bloodiest, what a great intro. So J-Rock, keep keep dropping classes, man. I've been listening to you since uh, Follow Me Home, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, say what's up. I'm saying, let me just tell you this, yo. I just love Fast Mask Off, man. That should be in the library, that should be in the Library of Congress. Or the Congress of Library, whatever it is. I don't got to pop mollies, and I love that song. That shit is fire, you know what I'm saying? Look at this, that's nice paperwork, well done. No, he didn't drop no physicals for this, but he did drop vinyls for this album. He did a vinyl for Hendrix and uh, one week after another with this kind of artwork and that was like silver, black and white. That was beautiful. And Rent Money, that shit go hard. You know what I'm saying? G-U-Net, G-U-Net. I got you the very own limited edition uh, Get Rich or Die trying by 50 Cent, which was a hard vinyl to find in the first place. And then when they re-released it, they got these dope they got a lot of albums out there with the marble covers and they do a fire ass job and this one has the Iron Man of course and yo, you know what I'm saying, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be like, nope, I'm not gonna get this of course I was fucking gonna get this this album, no doubt, classic ooh, look at that, look at that beauty you know what I'm saying you see this, this vinyl fire album, it's from Trap I don't even gotta talk about 50 Cent I don't even gotta talk about 50 Cent this is fucking classic 50 Cent is a classic man all right, from intro to gotta make it a heaven to like my style, pin back down. I can play the B sides of the song. I can play the A sides of the song. There's not a kid who doesn't know about 50 Cent. From Zimbabwe to America, 50 Cent forever. We almost finished, man. Last two records left right here. I got for y'all are the Illmatic Joint by Nas, but not just any regular Illmatic Joint. We got the National Symphony Orchestra live from the Kennedy Center by Nas. And let me tell you, this album is so fucking beautiful. They should play this shit in Harvard. They should play this shit in the Australian fucking opera house they have every day. You know what I'm saying? This is amazing. You know, what they did right here is they, voila, voila, that's what they call it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, recorded in March 28, 2014. It was the 20th anniversary of Illmatic. And Nas went to the DC, Washington DC, and recorded this album live in front of an audience while the orchestra was playing music in the back. And they, from the songs Genesis to New York State of Mind, Life's a Bitch, World Is Yours, Halftime, all those just redone with vinyls, uh, not vinyls, violins and uh, bass and uh, keyboards and all the, the, the guy, maestro guy, doing all that ish. You know what I'm saying? I saw the documentary on Amazon Prime, that was really dope. This is this beautiful, man. Peace. By the way, great job done. You know what I'm saying? Um, look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just amazing right there. You know what I'm saying? Even the vinyls itself have a beautiful um, artwork like this and all that stuff to it. Plus, they came with a booklet and they came with a huge ass poster, which will not fit in my room for sure. Because that shit, like, you need to frame that shit and put it in a museum. Um, this right here is a booklet to it. And it's just beautiful pictures taken during that day of the photo shoot. You know what I'm saying? And this is just amazing. It's amazing. Nas Forever Classic. Illmatic is a fucking classic. So this right here, beautiful. I recommend everybody to listen to this. If you like, you might not like live records a lot, but this one right here with the opera and everything is beautiful. It's beautifully done. Okay. We got down to the final vinyl record. We got down to the final vinyl record, which is Jigga J, Jigga A, Jigga Ba, Z. I got the Reasonable Doubt, very classic, very limited edition Reasonable Doubt album vinyl, which you won't find a lot of places. And look how the way they wrote Jay Z with the two fucking dots above the Y. You won't find this record anywhere. And if you do, it's probably over a hundred bucks. For anyone who's a Jay Z hater, you know what I'm saying? Shut up. We don't care. We don't care, son. This is Brooklyn, son. And he even comes with the uh, Can't Knock the Hustle, Can't Knock the Hustle, Fool's Gold, uh, Fool's Gold Paradise Remix, which is a fucking amazing remix. You know what I'm saying? It has like a certain vibe to it. Really smooth, really nice. What can I say? Can't Knock the Hustle, Mary J. Blige, Brooklyn's Finest, Biggie, Dead Presidents 2, Woo, DJ Premier, 22 Tools. Ah, oh, this shit. The, he, yo, he said, what did he say? Uh, and you broke, what the fuck you gonna tell me? Woo. <laughs> This album right here, classic. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Jay-Z. Thank you. Yeah, so tell me what kind of vinyls you guys got. Put it down below or something rare you got, something rare you found at a record store. 
And that was a wrap for my vinyl collection. You know what I'm saying? 